Thanks for rolling up to Bill Marley Certified Pie. I'm smoking on one of my late night blunts. Yo, you know what we gotta do, bro. We got to RT and you. Run those numbers up, man. Break down and subscribe. Twist up those like buttons. Let's go ahead. Go ahead. Slip slide. Slip 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 slide over to the uh to our um news for the night and see what's uh. See what's happening. First breaking news, the General Assembly has officially unveiled a new bill to make recreational marijuana legal in Rhode Island. 12 News. Rhode Island. Rhode Island doesn't have recreational yet? I, 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 I kind of thought they they did, but that's just because they're up there in that, in that, that North, New, New England, New England uh, bunch of states. I know Maine does. Uh, uh, Massachusetts does. Yeah, I thought Rhode Island was on that list. Okay, Rhode Island. Rhode Island, Rhode Island about to get dank in that bit. In Rhode Island. 12 News reporter Steph Machado was at the announcement today. She joins us now live from Providence with what's in the proposal. This new bill is a result of talks between the House and the Senate, and the lead sponsors are optimistic cannabis could be for sale in Rhode Island by the end of the year. Whoa. They trying to move fast as fuck, yo. Yeah, they trying to move fast as fuck. They must see that money that's uh, happening all around them. Um, I don't know if Connecticut got legal or not, uh, but I know Massachusetts does, and they they bringing their money hand over fist. Maine's Maine's doing decent. Um, uh, New York is not I mean going going to do decent. Uh, yeah, bro, Rhode Island jumping, jumping right in, jumping into the game. About to try to have that shit through by the end of the year. That's 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 quick, bro. That's quick. This is a great day. Representative Scott Slater and Senator Josh Miller have each introduced marijuana legalization for years, but this time they say House and Senate leaders are on board with a new agreement on how to do it. We didn't have a compromise between ourselves last year, so um, like this is. Big progress, I feel. The new bill would legalize possession and home growing of marijuana for those over 21, create a three men. How, how much? How much are they allowed to grow? Um, because if you talk, if you start, if you start talking some shit to me, fuck around and have me move to Rhode Island. Member Cannabis Control Commission to oversee the program and issue 33 retail licenses, including the nine medical marijuana dispensaries who would get the first crack at selling recreationally. The Okay, so they got nine, nine meds. You say you're going to 33. Uh, so what is that? 20, 20, 24, 24 uh, retail stores. That's across the state. Rhode Island is only a stone's throw. So that might be enough to supply the whole state, bro. That might be enough to supply the whole state. Those who um, got licenses in the lottery to be at compassion centers and the three existing could be selling recreational by the end of the year. The bill would expunge existing marijuana possession convictions, but not. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I just stopped you when you was halfway through the sentence. Now, I stopped you because what I was about to say was expunging all uh, non nonviolent cannabis offenses when you go recreational is kind of like the run of the mill uh thing to do nowadays but again we stopped during the halfway through the sentence so let's see uh uh what what, what the um end of that was going to be be selling recreational by the end of the year the bill would expunge existing marijuana possession convictions but not automatically something social justice groups quickly came out against but miller says the goal is to make it virtually automatic we envision okay so <laughs> virtually automatic so okay so hold on we're, we're we're like a lot of a lot of a lot of uh i guess stacy shit are just automatically removing them from your shit yeah you know i mean you got them on there boom that's just going with the wind these motherfuckers are saying nah bro you gotta do the leg work um you got to do the legwork. If you don't do the legwork, it's still not going to be held against you. It'll still be on your record. But uh, uh, I'm pretty sure that's where he about to go. Internet is you basically, if it's online, you'll be able to push a button. A big question is whether Governor Dan Mc... Okay, so hold on. Let's see. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that's different than what I thought. They said they're going to put, put, put the information online. that says uh, you have this charge. Push the button to get it expunged. But then again, if you don't go online and look and you don't push that button, your shit's still going to be sitting there.
Key will be on board. His own proposal would keep oversight of cannabis within the Department of Business Regulation, and he's previously opposed creating a separate Cannabis Control Commission. But Miller and Slater say despite that issue, there is broad agreement to legalize this year. All right, so 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 the only problem that the dude has is that he he wants I guess the uh like 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 Pennsylvania has um uh the liquor liquor control board that can that, that uh regulates all the sale of um liquor through uh stores in the in the state. So any any time you want to go get liquor, you gotta go to a state store. I'm guessing the dude want to only sell it in state stores, which I'm not against, bro. I'm not against selling it at state stores because the state can really kind of control the price. I mean, when you go, when you get it out on the free market and shit, the the market will control the price. Some some places that had the shit, now I mean down bottom, some places that had the shit up top. Uh, one of them will work, one of them won't. You know what I mean? Um, uh, so so the market itself will speak speak in those situations. But having a liquor control board or weed control board, you know what I mean, R running the shit, um, that 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 could that could now I mean set a standard price across across the whole state that doesn't fluctuate too much. One compromise that I think we have is that uh, adult recreational cannabis, everyone agrees is the best policy, and we have it right on our borders. In New England, you know, like, it's very easy to travel to other states, so. Yes. Right, right, right. You can go, you can go up, up, up north to Maine. You can go, what, what you gonna do? You gonna go west to New York? You gonna go, 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 or, or do you go west to, do you go west to Massachusetts? And go south, south to uh, New York. I don't know Brian from that area and shit. Hearings on the new bill have not yet been scheduled, and there's no word yet on what Governor Dan McKee thinks about this new framework. I did see him here at the State House this afternoon. He says he needs to review the bill, and we'll get back to us. I'm Steph Machado, 12 News. I think I think that got a good chance of going through. Um, Rhode Island's small. Uh, you know what I mean? They got they got. We all around them and shit, legal we all around them. I think, I think, I think that'll go through. So yeah, big ups for Rhode Island. If y'all uh watch it, let me know, let me know how it happens and shit over there, bro. <laughs> 